on the last episode of What We Know, we talked about the vehicles tab that was in some of the photos that a subscriber had pointed out, but was quickly shot down because a dev had already said that it was really for gadgets. Okay, that only opens it up to more questions like, what are these gadgets, and why does it need a tab? Leave your thoughts in the comments and let's get into the video. So not that long ago, I had put out a video on DevBlock 3. I had done it so fast that I didn't get the time to evaluate the videos. I just kind of blew through it because I wanted to be first. And I think that I was because I posted it like 20 minutes before Big Fry- Okay, I'm getting off topic. Nothing against the guy. Just wanted to say FIRST BITCH! Woo! The point is is that I was rushing through the content so much that I never took a good long look at the videos that were on the dev blog. And now that they're open and on YouTube, I thought that I would take the time to reevaluate those said videos. So the first video that I'm going to start with is called Ready or Not SWAT Based Tactical FPS Whip or Work in Progress Death System. And the description reads, Player Breaches Geneva Convention. People have told me that the description is a joke but maybe I'm just not getting it. On to the video. Okay, so what we got here is like some kind of... Maybe a nightclub, it looks like? They said that it's like a Geneva Convention but... I have no idea what a Geneva convention actually looks like. So this is obviously showing off the death system. As you can see before, it did that cut right there. Um, he has a give up animation. He puts his hands up and then, yeah, it looks like he's given up to me. And then he just guns him down in cold blood like that. It's so dark though. Like, you can't tell if he is... You can't tell if he's the cop or like the militia guy. They hid this one pretty well right here. They have like a weird looking drawing in the background of like some guy with a big ass head. So in the beginning here, it looks like this is the exact same guy as what it does in the jump cut. But this is in the exact same area, so that leads me to believe that he started it up with two different weapons. He started up the game with two different weapons. I'm not even going to try to guess the guns that are right here because, I mean... I'm sure you know what it is, but I don't know what the hell it, what the hell it's called. Fill me in on the comments, will ya? So once again, this guy that's in the exact same spot is giving up here, which leads me to believe that this guy that you're playing as is not a good guy. Because usually when you're a cop, and you know, they have their hands up, you're supposed to, you know, tell them to get down on the ground, and then you like fix them up with like one of those zip ties. But it seems like... He's just gunning him down in cold blood. So this guy might actually be a cop, maybe. I don't know. Let's move on to the next one. So the next video that we have is called Ready or Not SWAT Based Tactical FBS MP5 Reload System. The description reads, SWAT takes out his frustration of the servers going down on a vending machine in some boxes. Lol. So let's get into the video. Okay, so they're in some kind of pit stop here. Um, For you. For you. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that, alright? So he's using the... MP5 here. He's just shooting up the place. Magazine is nearly empty. And then he does like the safe reload, I believe that's what it's called. And then he switches to burst and then full auto. And that's the quick reload to get rid of the mag as fast as possible. I don't know if it like completely ejects your mag even though it's like full. Like if you if you're like reloading and it completely ejects it, like is there still bullets gonna be left in that? Like can you pick that back up? Like that that's the, I think one of the questions that I'm wondering. You know, I just have to wonder how big this map is actually gonna be because this just looks like a tiny little pit stop right here. Like, are we gonna go outside? Is it gonna be around the corner, like an alley or something? I'm trying to see if I could read that red part. Okay, no, it's just the symbols. So this is full auto, this is burst fire, and this is semi. I believe. Okay, I think that's everything that I could find. Anything that seems relevant. Um, if anybody sees anything, tell me in the comments. Let's move on to the next one. The next video that we have is called Ready or Not SWAT Base Tactical FPS Optical Motion Capture Preview. With a description that reads SWAT Officer Hunts Down an Illegal Meme Thief. Okay, so I had misread uh, the DevBlock 3 part of this, and I had thought that they had said that they were going to add like a theater mode, like from Call of Duty. I thought that's what this was, but actually, it's um, it's like a preview of what the 
you know the animations are going to look like so this is basically it it's only like three seconds so you know he's looking left to right and then he fucking goes in there and he's like bang 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 what can this scene tell us about this area it seems as if they're in some kind of office looking area um just because of all the files that are back here the little trash can this looks like something where you'd like put a piece of paper in or something it looks like a desk over there um is this police yeah he has police written on his backpack it looks like right there you can see the police right there so is this like a medic pack is what that is so you can see that he's wearing a hollow sight i believe that's an m4 uh he's not wearing a helmet which me i want a helmet yeah me you can go in there without one but that's just me so i have to ask is this ai or is this actual or is this an actual player Hmm, I'm going to say that it's AI, but maybe their motion capture system is so good that we can't even tell. Now I'm curious, is this guy, okay, so there's the zip ties, there's whatever grenades that he has. Um, there's like a medic kit, I'm guessing. And then I saw like a little red thing, if this thing wasn't so fucking short. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. See, that's about as close as I'm going to get it. It looks like a symbol for, like, red team or something. Or maybe you use it... Or maybe that's, like, the... The glow sticks, possibly? I don't know. This is all speculation, but that's what it looks like. Alright, let's push on to the next one, huh? The next video that we're going to be looking at is called Ready or Not SWAT Base Tactical FPS 5-7 Reload System. With a description that reads, Continued Venting. So once again, we're back at it again with the gas station. Uh, he's just rapidly firing. And then he does like this cool looking reload. And it's his magazine full. And then he does like a different type of reload, I've noticed. With a certain part right here, like if you go back, you can see that he does one where he flicks it back and forth, you know, like the top part. And then he pulls out the stinger. But let's look back at it again with these uh, reloads, because I've noticed that they're different. Yeah, they're really different. Like, I wonder if there's more than just one of those. And then he pulls out the freaking sting, and it's like, Ah, I wanted to explode. Why do you end it right there? Ugh. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you on that one. Um, So let's move on to the next one, huh? Next video that we're going to be looking at is called Ready or Not SWAT Base Tactical FPS Suspect Engagement with AI Wingman. And the description reads, Suspect attempts to stop, drop, and roll, but realizes that it only works for fire, not bullets. So I should probably say first that the main thing about this one is that the AI actually rolls out of the way. But the one thing that I'm looking for is anything that's like different, you know? Anything that they didn't mention. Like, what is this area? This seems like some kind of warehouse if you look at all the things that are over here. There's a lot of vending machines, so maybe some kind of den where they put the drugs inside of like vending machines or something. Like, look at this guy right here. He looks like he's just in regular clothing. He doesn't look like he's like an armed militia. Although he does have some kind of firearm that requires him to hold two hands, so... Looked like a shotgun. Was that a shotgun? Yeah, it looked like he had a shotgun. Like, you can see it for like a split second, like when it pop. Yeah, that's a shotgun right there. Yeah, these are just pallets. Those are just pallets. This looks like this looks like the backside of a grocery store. That's what it looks like to me. Um, like, cause I used to work at one of those before, and and, and this just reminds me a lot of the grocery store, cause you get all the food that was on the pallets, and then like all the boxes you would put them on shelves. Yeah, I could see this being like some kind of grocery store, but maybe I could be wrong. I mean, you know, the game hasn't come out yet, so we don't know. But yeah, that's what I think this is like some kind of grocery store. But then again, why would there be a bunch of vending machines i mean i don't remember i don't think grocery stores have that many vending machines write in the comments what you think this is let's move on to the next one and finally the last video that we have is ready or not swat based tactical fps swat ai clearing with player with a description that reads swat ai sweep right to clear and then set up crossfire so this video looks like the same area as what we just saw Except that he's moved down the hall just a little bit and he has his ai companions with him so yeah this looks like some kind of back room and that's basically all we get. Like, it, it just shows him, you know, searching around the corner, moving left and right, and then the two AIs go crossfire. Um, 
We get a better look at this guy. He has some kind of jacket on and I think a motorcycle helmet? I didn't actually take a look at that. One second. This is obviously a clip from the same freaking uh, uh, video that we had just a moment ago. Did I get a close up on that? I don't think I can, huh? Like he's looking way too far to the left. Oh, well, he looks right there, but nope. Can't take a look. So yeah, this is like some back room. I'm guessing like this is where they put all their frozen shit or I don't know. Well, then again, why would these boxes say that they're fragile? Maybe there's some glass in there or something. I can't say what this, what all this stuff is. So once again, we get a better look at their backside. They also have that red thing right there, which I, I'm not sure if that if, if that's like red team or if that's the glow sticks. I don't think those blood stains are for that one guy. Maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, is all that blood stains from that guy right there? I mean, I guess we'll never really know. I mean, he's the only one that's like right there and it's in that general vicinity because I'm trying to think he um, He got shot he laid down and then he rolled and then he tried to get back up and then he just died like that So is this his blood? Like is that is that the level of blood that we're gonna get just from one freaking guy? Man, that's gonna be freaking bloodbaths everywhere. So report dead suspect. So I'm wondering can you get penalties if you don't report it because that's how it was in swap 4 but yeah aside from that i can't see anything else that's that more important than what the description basically already says so i think i'm gonna wrap it here if you guys see anything you could tell me in the comments um i think that i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye